Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel, man. This is your boy, Anthony, here, back with another video. And today, man, I'm going to talk to you guys the new GM order and process. Some things changed since my last couple videos, man, that I did, like, shoot, eight, nine months ago. And also, I gave y'all an update video not too long ago what some things has changed. And now some more things have changed regarding the GM order and process. So... We're going to jump into it. Also, there's some new news regarding the Camaro, man. So, you know, I'm going to update you guys with that. And, um, yeah, so we're going to cue the intro and jump straight into it. Okay, y'all. So, now that we got that all out the way, now we're going to jump into the order and process. That's the first thing foremost because a lot of things has changed with that, man. So... The very first thing that has changed with that is that on the Camaro 6 site, um, I know I told y'all, like, go go to Camaro 6, sign up and all that stuff. Um, you'll be able to get your order status to check on it a lot faster than you would if you would have went to um, the Chevy chat or your particular dealer. It looked like things has changed. Word has got to me that, I guess, based on my video, word been going around that they GM has made an update on their ordering process so not anybody at any dealership can go check on your order status unfortunately man uh, times has changed in that uh, you will have to work with your particular dealer to get updates it's either gonna be your dealer or it's gonna be the Chevy chat one of those two other than that not any person from any Chevy Lane dealership can be able to check your order number and stuff like that now everything else I said in the video uh, besides you can check on your status of where it's being shipped at that's done that that don't exist no more than an update at that um, anybody can check your order status they changed that so that's not gonna be the same but the only thing that has remained the same in my last video my last couple videos is the GM work order bench that's still gonna be the same uh, the order statuses that's still gonna be the same so for all the other extra information where you can go to the site find your order status and all that and where it's being shipped unfortunately that's gone we lost our privilege now so maybe because GM is shutting down the Camaros and they don't care or maybe the video I put out was just way too much information they noticed that hey this is a bug in the system but it is what it is um, now that we got that out the way man so I'll a lot of people been reaching out to me, man. I appreciate it. Y'all been getting y'all Camaros. I love every single picture that I get that y'all send me on Instagram, man. I love that you all is happy that y'all waited. Y'all got the car that you wanted. Some of you guys didn't. Uh, some of you guys, unfortunately, had to just get the first car on a lot that y'all was able to get. And y'all love that car even more than the one that you placed the order because you couldn't wait that long. And I understand that because I didn't want to wait that long for this. I waited three, four months. No, six months for this. Four to six months on this. I can't remember no more. Um, and I didn't want to wait for a ZL1. So it is what it is. That's where we at. But there is some new news regarding the Camaro, man, which is great. And that is we finally got some updated colors. We finally got uh, what the color for the new uh, collector's edition is going to be. And yeah, so we're going to get into right into the sad news. I'm hitting y'all with all the sad news. Um, Rapid Blue, the Rapid Blue is done. Um, I did a I did a uh, a community post on YouTube if y'all seen that. But the Rapid Blue is done after I want to say July first or whatever, or I think it was last week. Last week, if y'all didn't get your order accepted, you're not getting Rapid Blue no more. So Rapid Blue is gone. Um, the Radiant Red is gone, man. So if you all got these colors. The, the production number is limited, man. Now, there's going to be a lot of LT1s. I feel like those are quicker to make and turn around because LT1s are just, it don't take that much uh, to make them due to the fact that uh, they don't require a lot of suspension or a lot of crazy stuff. It's just bare bones, V6 chassis, bare bones, V6 uh, shell on the outside, and just the V8 motor just slapping in with no cooling or nothing like that. So... If you guys can get you one, that's what you can get. But there's no more Radiant Red. There's no more uh, Rapid Blue. So 2023 is the last year for those uh, two colors. But GM did come out with two more colors, man. So they brought back um, the Nitro Yellow. 
um, the nitro yellow uh, is on the C T4 Blackwing. I know it's on the Cadillacs, so that's something to um, be on the lookout for. Um, I'm glad they bring it back. I don't know why they bring it back for the last year, but it's different. It looked like the nitro yellow is going to have uh, some metallic flakes in it. So I'm curious to see what this will like in person. Also, they're going to come out with another blue. Um, I feel like it's like that Elkhart Lake blue that came on the C8. Um, maybe a little bit different, but it looks very similar, man. And I got pictures floating on the screen here as I'm talking, so y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, man. Um, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Oh, the collector's edition. So there has been some sneak peeks or sneak leaks of like information regarding like the collector's edition. And it looks like the collector edition Camaro will be coming in black, of course, because that makes sense. Like for it to be Panther, it makes sure it's gonna be black. So kind of dope. Kind of reminds me like Marvel because it was like the Black Panther, but I feel like they always come out with like a black car. But for this, for the name and everything, it makes a lot of sense for it to be black. So maybe it'd be like oh, a matte black with like metallic flakes in it or whatever. They haven't did no pictures or anything like that. This is just screenshots uh, from the ordering system if you want to purchase a 2024 Camaro and the collector's edition so it looked like it's just going to be black that's all we know if I find out any more information I'll let you guys know 100% um, but that's the information the updates I want to give you guys man if there's a uh, any more information I uh, share or find out for you guys you know I'm going to share with you guys it looks like the ZL1s the ZL1 one at least uh, based on like Camaro production from a few people they haven't been making too many of those I guess they like saving all the parts that they possibly can man so um, they can make sure they turn into like collector's editions uh, and stuff like that SS's and uh, LT1's um, those are like they they will still keep those going but for those who want the zl1 the zl11 at least um look like they're not like accepting any orders and they pushing them back for the collector's edition so if y'all like this video y'all know what to do man hit that like button subscribe if y'all enjoy content like this and uh if y'all don't know follow the moc man for good car content and that's myself 100 game nate cue the chaotic and race car friends and like that i'll see you guys in the next video